Everybody's wanting to know what's going on. Knives are going on, that's all. You see all these bungees? That's what's going on. That's what's going on. We're expanding. We got 86 inches. We're going to 120, I think. We're going to four inches wider. We're going to fifteen foot compared to twenty foot. We will have no door on this side. Only one big door over here, which it will be forty two inches compared to about 28 at the narrowest point. We're getting a Nissan MV2500. Instead of this, we're getting 17 inch tires instead of 15 inch tires. We're getting rear wheel drive compared to front wheel drive. We're getting a V6 instead of a four. The NV2500 is on a Titan truck frame. It's almost identical inside, except for the shifters up here, not over there. It's got a bigger doodad in the front middle there. It has an inverter built in it. So if I go to a mobile job site, I don't have to use my generator, but I have to have the truck running. It has an inverter built way up front, plug, inverter plug right here, 400 watts in park. I'm not sure about the shelves. It comes with two sets of shelves like this. Actually, it comes with three sets. Uh, they're a little wider and they're about four inches taller. And like I said, there's 12 foot between here and now. And so I guess it's two, like five foot ones. I don't know how to measure them, so, but they're side, they're in the end. So there'll be big, long row of shells, if I get them. And one row of shells over here, which I will not get. And where this is like a wire cage, this other one is a metal cage. It's solid on the lower half and it has big holes drilled in it at the top. I'm going to use it for a day or two before I decide on the shelves. The shelves is a free package from Nissan. A local guy here installs them. Same guy did these. The uh, graphics guy uh, has got the graphics already. All I got to do is take it into him. I haven't got the van. I'm going to pick the van up this morning. Me and Chris are going to ride down to the dealership and do the damn paperwork. And we'll do a little review coming back. But that's where I am. I have so many knives I haven't been able to go detecting. Not that I wanted to go detecting because it ain't nothing but crap down there. And I hate hunting for crap. But then he's been going. I guess if you follow Gig, you know Gig's found a few. But he hunts seven, eight hours a day. And I, I'm a four hour kind of guy. Been playing a lot of pool though. My pool game has improved. With my new cataract eyes, I started to give pool a try. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. I'm like I'm 18. I come in second in a pool tournament. 
after Sunday. Nine ball tournament. Handicapped. Cool, huh? So I'm still here. Just knives. Most people don't like the knives. I'll get back to you. Bigger and better. 17 inch thighs, like I told you. No dual. It is a shade higher than I was expecting it to be. Got a longer nose on it. But it's got some room, brother. Good Google Mooga. It's a shade higher than I was expecting. I have to lift like I do. It's not as quite as high as my pickup was. But here's the nice thing about it. Because I can see this wider. But right here is an outlet, 400 watts. It has an inverter. I think I told you, built in. It's got three lights, a light there, a light there, and a light over there, which I had to add to my other van. Make me a bed in here. I got a mobile shop. I mean, a, what do you call it? A mobile uh, detecting mobile. That's the second thing I was planning on. Room. I could almost lay crossways. I'll get back to you. <laughs> Five feet makes a lot of difference. So we'll put some stuff in it now, see how it looks. I'll get back to you. Well, we got surprises in the back. We got a big old axe. We got a set of kind of rusty, uh, good gracious, I don't think they're even worth working on. Loafers. And a similar pair of Fiskars pruners. Magic. I need magic. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Well, I've been changing and working and gathering and moving, and this is how I'm going to have it for Saturday. Because I don't have the shells yet, like I said. But I've been looking online, and I am going to get the two shells that on this side and the one shelf that's right here. And I still got plenty of room in the middle. This baby's big, but it's high. It's, like I said, it's higher than I thought. But that's life. You know, you're going to be dumb. You got to be tough. Anyway, a mailman has brought me a nice knife. And I nice had another drop off just a minute ago. But it looks like it'll be Friday, be a knife day. Let's go inside and take a look. These are the drop offs. And this is the mail in. This is a shun, old Ken Onion shun, I think the guy told me. Not yet. Yep, that's what it is. An old can onion shine. He, she's in bad shape too. And he told me she was in bad shape. And in the bag, three capillons.
No, two Caffalons and a Hankel International. This is a returning customer, but I did yard tools for him two years ago. Never no knives. Okay, that's it. We're going to eat dinner now. See ya.